think in 1996 was kind of when the swimmers started getting the Olympic ring tattoo. The United States has won the gold medal. Michael Phelps, a new world record. Crocker gets the silver. Kind of the thing to do. Kind of cool. It's like a USA thing, a tradition that once you go to the Olympics, you always get the Olympic rings. Everyone's doing it, you know, peer pressure. You know how moms are like, no, you can't get a tattoo. I'll disown you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it was something special to me. It's something I dreamed about since I was a little girl. And the Olympics are the Olympics, and there's something to be said about that. After 2000, when I got home, one of the first things I did was got the tattoo. I would definitely get the rings tattooed on myself. <laughs> I got mine right after Sydney. I do have the Olympic rings. I got them tattooed after the 2000 games. Once you're an Olympian, you're always an Olympian. Another goal for Michael Phelps. It's a life-changing experience and, you know, something you always remember. I do have the Olympic rings tattooed on my right shoulder blade. I have it on my lower back. I have my right hip. You see it? Uh, right here. Right there. Good to go. I got my rings right here. I can't show you. It's below the speedo. <laughs> you know, if I was naked, yeah, you'd be able to see them. I don't know if you can uh, put that stuff in there. Ian Crocker, Jessica Hardy, Larson Jensen, Margaret Holser, Orion Lochte, Jason Lezak, Michael Phelps, U.S. Olympic swimmer.